Okay, Clashers, it's the newest episode of Clash On, and we're going to share with you what's in the June update for Clash of Clans. The June update is all about the home village. We've got a new Dark Elixir troop and a new Super troop. So let's start with the Apprentice Warden. He's a smaller warden in training, and here to give you the details, let's bring out my extra special guest, Apprentice Darian. Thanks. Grand Darian? Well, like Bigger Me said, Apprentice Warden is a new Dark Elixir troop who's training to be a Grand Warden when he, well, grows up. Uh -huh. Apprentice Warden is a ground troop since he hasn't progressed enough in his training to learn how to fly just yet. But he is still learning so he can jump over walls with ease and shoot range attacks with his magical slingshot staff. And although Apprentice Warden doesn't have the Eternal Tome ability, he has the Life Aura ability that will buff surrounding units' hit points. So, what's up with all this bling? Well, we've got a brand new super troop that you've been asking about for quite a long time. We've used cutting edge technology to make one of the most iconic units from Clash of Clans even more iconic. Oops, sorry, got a little bit carried away there. Well, not only does Super Hog Rider have higher hit points and higher DPS than his less bejeweled counterpart, Super Hog Rider has an extra surprise when he's been dealt fatal damage. When Super Hog Rider is destroyed, he breaks up into both the Hog and the Rider. The Riderless Hog proceed to jump over walls and will target defenses, while the Hogless Rider will continue to attack the nearest building. That's right, they both go. Hog wild. And speaking of super troops, we've got one big quality of life improvement coming in this update. With the number of super troops now available, we want to give players more flexibility in how you use them. In this update, we've now added the option to cancel active super troops. When you've acted a super troop, you'll now see a button that says cancel. That allows you to cancel your super troop, and once that super troop has been canceled, you'll no longer be able to train super troops of that kind until you reactivate them again. Once that super troop is deactivated, you can then proceed to activate another super troop. Any costs for canceling an active super troop are not refunded, so use it carefully. We've also got two new magic items in this update. Do these requests sound familiar to many of you out there? That means we've added a new magic item to speed up the upgrades of your hero pets. The new pet potion will increase the upgrade speed by 24 times, up to one hour per pet potion. The other magic item we're adding is the Builder Star Jar. Using the Builder Star Jar will skip the Builder Base Star Bonus cooldown timer, giving you the opportunity to get even more loot now. Not only do we have a new Dark Elixir troop, a new super troop, and new magic items in this update, we've got new levels for troops, buildings, heroes, and pets. 10 troops and two siege machines will be getting new levels. Goblin, Valkyrie, Pekka, Healer, Dragon, Hog Rider, Bowler, Ice Golem, Baby Dragon, and Yeti can now be upgraded to a new level in this update. Wall Wrecker and Stone Slammer siege machines also get new levels. Five buildings and two traps also get new levels in this update. Dark Barracks, Builder's Hut, Hidden Tesla, Eagle Artillery, and Scattershot all get new levels while Giant Bomb and Seeking Airmine can also be upgraded. But that's not all. Each hero will get new levels. Barbarian King, Archer Queen, Grand Warden, and Royal Champion each will get a plus five level increase. Finally, you can also expect new levels for two hero pets, Lassie and Mighty Yak. Each of them will get an additional plus five levels as well. We're also cutting upgrade costs and upgrade times for Town Hall 12 and 13 players, with costs being cut by up to 25%. The number of reductions in this update are far too numerous to list in this video. So make sure you check out the official patch notes for the full list. There are a ton of other new features we've added to the game, like quality of life improvements, such as the new hero skin you are. Let us know what you think in the comments, and as you scroll down, don't forget to tap that like and subscribe button. 
You can find the full details of this update in the patch notes linked in the description. Until next time, Clash on. Oh, before I forget, can you give this to the Clash Mini Community Manager? I think you might need it.